hello guys this is my 50 second video in react series and in our previous video we have seen how to fetch api data and how to display that data in our website okay now in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use axios with react and why we have to use axios and what are the requests in axios okay axios is nothing but it is a simple promised based http client for the browser and node.js okay we are going to see request okay why we are performing and how to fetch data how to get the data and we are going to see everything about axios in this tutorial here we are having this why we have to use axios in react okay in our previous video we have seen while fetching the api data first we used to convert to object and then we can access that data but in axios we have one then okay it is going to return a promise we have then method and we have catch method okay then method is going to return if our promise is fulfilled whatever success message we are going to get that will be returned by then and if we get some error that we are going to get using catch method okay this axios is very very helpful in handling errors and it throws 400 and 500 range errors here you can see in the third point we are having this axios throws 400 and 500 range errors and unlike fetch api where we have to check the status and we have to throw error by ourselves but in axios we don't have to throw error by ourselves it is going to throw an error okay and also if we are using http methods like we have get method we have put we have post okay we are having several methods but in axios to perform get request we have dot get method to perform post request we have dot post to perform put we have dot put to perform delete we have dot delete okay using this methods we are going to perform all the actions and we are going to get the data of api and that data we are going to display okay you can see this is the definition it is just a promise based http client for the browser and node.js okay you don't have to buy hard the definitions you just have to know what is axios and why we are going to use axios okay these are the reasons why we are using axios and here first we are going to see about get request okay now what is this get request okay using this get request we can fetch the data or we can retrieve the data while making this get request using this get method once we link our api data we can just get that data and we can display that data in our browser okay so let's see an example and we are going to understand this through an example and in our next video we are going to learn about post request first here we are going to see what is this get request how to get the data and how to display that data okay so let's get started with the example now here to use axios package first we have to install that package and later on we are going to import that one Okay, first we are going to see how to install that one. I'm just going to open terminal and inside my CMD, you can see I have already started my development server and my app is running inside localhost 3000 port. Okay, now here we are just going to install that package. I'm just going to write here npm axios. Okay, here you will be getting the details of axios package. You can just refer this one for better understanding. You just have to click on this first link. And here in this you can find you can see we have this install npm i axios i stands for install okay, weekly downloads you can see the count you can see so many people download this one and also we are having this table of content and here we have this definition promise based http client for the browser and node.js okay we are having many things if you want you can just refer this one but you don't have to see entire thing you just have to know some of the things then later on once you keep on practicing then you will get to know by itself at this point as a beginner you don't have to learn this entire thing you just have to know what is axios how to get the data and how we are going to post the data we just have to know some of the request in axios we don't have to learn this entire thing as a beginner Okay, now I'm just going to copy this one npm i axios and here inside this terminal I'm just going to paste that one. I'll just paste that one. Now it is going to take some time to install this axios package. Now you can see here my package is been installed here. Now to check whether it is installed properly or not we just have to open our package.json file. I'll just open that file package.json and inside this you can see you will be having this axios package which has been installed successfully once we install this one we just have to import this package now here inside index.js you can see i have already imported this app component and here i am having this app component i'll just close this one now inside app.js i am just going to import axios to import axios you just have to write here import axios 
from you just have to write this axios package you don't have to write here dot slash nothing you just have to write here axios package like how we have written here import react from react in the same way we just have to write import axios from axios we don't have to write this dot slash we just have to write the package name inside this i'm just going to write one h1 i'll just write here axios with react I'll save this and here you can see I'm having this output Axios with React. Now first I'm just going to create one state. Below this I'll just create one state. I'll just give here post and here I'm just going to give here set post. Now here I'm just going to use here use state. Initially I'm just going to give here null. Okay, initially I don't want any value and this whatever value I'm having that will be the initial value for this variable. Later on, whatever updation I have to do, that updation I have to do using this function and that updated data later on, it will become the initial value for this variable. Okay, once we use this one, we just have to import that one. I'm just going to write here use state. Now here I'm also going to use here use effect because use effect and use state we have already seen. Use effect, whenever I load my website, I need this action to be performed. Okay, I need to get the API data. So here below this, I'm just going to write here use effect and inside this, I'm just going to call this and here inside this use state, I'll just create one variable. I'll give my variable name as data and now we are going to use Axios package and we are going to see how to get the request, how to use get request. Here you just have to write here Axios dot get. Okay, this is using normal. Later on, if you want, you can use async and await, but we are just using promises and we are going to get the data. Inside this get method, we have to pass API link. Okay, to get API link, I'll just open this one. Inside Chrome, I'm just going to write here JSON placeholder API. Once you open this one, you will be having one link. You just have to copy that link. I'll just open this one. Scroll down. And here we are having this API link. I'm just going to copy this one. Okay, I don't need ID one. I'll just copy this. And here I'm just going to paste that one. Now you can see this is our API data. Now this data I want to display inside our browser, inside our website. Now this is the link. I'm just going to copy this. Now here below this, I'm just going to create one variable. I'll just give my variable name as uh, API link. And here inside this, I'm just going to paste that one. Okay. Now this API link is being stored inside this variable. Now this variable I'll copy and here I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, this is how we are going to get. Okay, this is how we are going to perform get request. We are going to get this data and we are going to display that data now. Now it is nothing but it is going to return a promise. So here we just have to write here then method. And inside this, I'm just going to pass one response parameter. Now this response will be having entire data. Whatever data we are having inside this API, that data will be stored inside this response. Now here if I just do console, console.log and I and if I just show you the response I'll save this I'll refresh this I'll open console and this response is nothing but it is going to return an object and that is nothing but a promise now here inside console you can see it is returning an object and inside this we are having this data okay you can see array of 200 and all the data is been stored here Okay, we are just going to get all the API data using this then. Okay, using this then, we are just passing here response and inside this response, all the data will be stored and it is going to return an object that is nothing but a promise. Now below this, whatever data I got, now I have to update that one. Now to update this, okay, let me just write here console, console.log. I'm having this response. Response is an object, response.data because I need data. Inside this data itself, I'm having entire data. I'll just show you the output. You can see inside this response, I'm having here data. And this is where I'm having all this entire data. So now if I just do here console.log response.data, you can see only this data has been fetched. Okay, only this data I need. So I'm just giving here response.data, which is going to return me the entire API data. Now this data, whatever I got, I have to update that one. To update that one, we have this set post function. Now, whatever updation I do, that will become the initial data for this one. Now, here I'm just going to write here set post. And inside this, now I'm just going to pass this one. 
this entire data i'll just copy this and here i'm going to paste that one okay this is how we are going to return now here if i just show you the output i'll come here now let me just write here console and i'll just show you the output i'll just write here console dot log and here i'm just going to write here post and from here i'll just remove this console i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see first my data is null okay first my initial data is null you can see here it is null because first my initial data of post is null once my website is loaded i'm just updating the value once i updated the value now this data whatever i'm having here that will become the initial data for this variable and that will be printed here okay that is nothing but you can see i'm getting this 200 okay i'm getting this array of object it is just going to return me the data here okay once our website is loaded it is going to return me many times because whenever i am performing some actions it is going to load and it is going to return this output if you don't want it to print again and again you just have to write here empty array now this is going to prevent that one it is it is just going to print once i'll just refresh this now you can see initially i am having null and later on i am having this only one data only one time it is going to load and it is going to display that data the use effect we have already seen we are just going to pass this empty array and it is going to return only once it is not going to load each time it is not going to return the output okay now once we have updated the data now we want to display that data here now here below here let me just write one h2 inside this i'll just write here post.title i'll save this I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I am getting this error because now this response now this is going to return me an array of object. Now here it is going to return array of objects. Now here if you see that API you can see it is nothing but it is an array of objects. Now to print this entire data now we are just going to use here map method instead of writing this one I'll be using here map method. Now here I'll just open this curly braces. Inside this I'm just going to pass this post. Now this post is having our entire data that is nothing but array of objects. Now I want to get all the data so I'll be using this map method. Inside this I'm just going to pass one parameter. Now this values will be having entire data and it is going to run the function for each object and it is going to return the output. Now I just want to print title. I'll come here now here inside this i'm having this title i just want to display that one now this map method is going to return something inside this i'm just going to write here h1 now here i'll just write h1 and inside curly braces first i'm just going to write here values dot title okay i just need title so i'm just writing this values which will be having entire data and i need to display only the title so i'm just writing this one now if i just show you the output you can see i'll be getting this error cannot read properties of null because initially i have passed the data as null okay initial value i can't print so i'll be getting this error here okay i can't print null so instead of passing null you can just give here empty array okay which is the same way we are just initializing it to empty array now once we print this one it is going to access that and it is going to display that output now if i just show you you can see entire title whatever i am having inside api that entire title is been printed okay entire 200 titles will be printed here okay if you want you can add some more stylings here but this is how we are going to get the data and we are going to display that data now first one is you can see i am having this delete something now if i show you inside api you can see first i'm having this delectus okay this entire title whatever i'm having here that will be displayed in our browser okay we just have to pass here in empty array we just have to pass the empty array as the initial data okay if you want to pass null you just have to write some javascript logic and then you are going to get output but still if you don't want to get confused you can just pass like this okay i'm just going to explain you again this is our api link i'm just getting this api link i'm storing that inside this variable directly if you want to pass this api link here you can directly pass here but i'm just storing inside variable then using this then method i'm just going to get the response and here i'm just updating that data now once i updated that data that updated data will become the initial value for this one and inside this use effect i'm just updating that one because whenever my website is loaded i want this data should be displayed and i need only one time it should displayed because whatever actions i perform i don't want it to display again and again so i'm just passing this empty array here 
now here inside this inside this return i'm just writing here map method and using this one i'm just accessing all the title and i am just displaying that inside my browser instead of h1 i'm just going to write here paragraph i'll just write here paragraph i'll save this now you can see here i'll be having entire title entire api titles here all 200 data will be displayed if you want to give some stylings you can give but as a beginner you just have to know how to fetch the data using axios okay this is all about get okay this is all about get request and it is nothing but to fetch the data or to retrieve it we are just going to use get request now next we are going to learn about post request so that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day